friends, it's Nancy, and I'm back to do some more work on my pink journal. So I have the text block in. Um, I managed to sew all the signatures in without the benefit of my reading glasses, so <laughs> good for me. I'm going to work on the inside covers now. So I want to use fabric. Um, so how I do that is I use a piece of paper or a piece of file folder to glue the um, fabric onto, um, turn it over the edge so that it has a nice crisp edge, and then glue it in. So um, get a measure. And I am looking for about... Eight and one eighth by um, five and three quarters. Let me write that down. Eight and one eighth, five and three quarters. Let's see if the back is the same. I've just got. Uh, my glue stick is stuck in there because I had some glue seep out. So eight and one eighth by five and three quarters. Well, that's handy. Stick that back in there. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay. Just gonna cut a chunk off. So the, the lip on this side of the folder is a little higher on one side, so goodness gracious. Let's try that again with feeling. Five and three quarters. Saturday morning I went to one yard sale this morning got nothing met hubby for breakfast and now I'm back home okay so I said eight and one eighth pieces of fabric ready to go. There they are. I'm hoping to get 
this journal done today, maybe? Because I would like to start the Edith Holden Autumn project. And I'll make sure that I do not glue this side to the fabric because I don't want the the print from that label to show through. Um, I don't know that it will, but it's always possible. give that a couple of minutes to dry particularly the corners because those are the hardest to get perfect but um, I'll do a little bit of work inside so I uh, I took out this was a, a full page in the journal um, and I took it out because on the back was um, a very dark colored um, ad for whiskey. So I tried to cover it up by um, put, putting some pink tracing paper over it. Actually, it was parchment paper that I had dyed pink. And that didn't go well. <laughs> it did not look good. <laughs> So, um, I took it right out and replaced it with a different, different one. But I still like this image with the, uh, the pink tree and her eyeliner is on point. So I'm just giving this a little bit of a zhuzh. I'll glue that in as a pocket, tuck spot. So here's my front cover. I did that yesterday. I layered up three different laces and um, yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. So I did like an ivory lace underneath and then a pink lace, and then another pink lace. And I like it. Um, I think I'll put it here. Now I'm trying something new. I got these um, icing bottles, Sugar Bell icing bottle. It's four ounces, which is bigger than I wanted, but I don't like the bottles that the, the fabric, the Fabri-Tac is coming in recently. 
So I transferred a bottle of Fabri-Tac into this. My problem is going to be I don't have a lid for it. So I, I don't know how this is going to work, but I have noticed that um, because you don't need as, not, as much pressure on the bottle, it's a very thin plastic, it is easier to use and the metal tip gives you a very thin bead. So I don't know how it's going to work. But we shall see. So I'm just covering it right now with the old lid. Oh, poo. Okay, that's fine. grabbing a few little clippies. Right, we'll let that one dry. Um, let's do another pocket. Okay, I don't like him. somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, well. I'll put you there. So let's measure that. So he's about four and a half, four and a half by four and three quarters. I have this little journal. I don't know if these pages are going to be big enough. Oh. That's going to be perfect. I'll get one out of the center, though. It's a little more uh, virginal. I don't know if these are glued in or what are they? They're glued in. <laughs> Gonna get my aerosol glue. Okay, that'll be good. I'm gonna add a little tuck spot there. Um, so I made this tag. It's a button card. Um, I'm gonna put it like that. You'll put it on this side. Okay. I 
I just want the hair to get at that a bit longer. Um, put another pocket in here. too busy. I hope that works, that bottle, because I'm otherwise I'm going to be very disappointed. back to work on these. I think they're probably good. So I want to cut this down. I'll use my um, rot rotating <laughs> my rotary cutter <laughs> and I'm going to cut it about three eighths from each edge. And I've done this um, many times, and I've I know I filmed it before. But the trick, as always, is to get really sharp edges. Okay. Now. I'm going to clip off this corner about an eighth of an inch away from the corner of the um, the card itself. Using the purple glue, I'm just pulling that tight and making sure it doesn't get rounded. And that little, let me bring it a little closer, that little lifted bit there, I'm going to use some white glue, some. Um, Art glitter glue and put it in in that little lifty bit and flatten it okay might as well do the whole edge here So I'm pulling that taut. 
and then putting a little dot of art glitter glue in there. So that I have the sharpest possible corner. And if it's not super sharp, sharp, I can just kind of mold it into a sharp 90 degree right there. One more to go. Now I am going to stitch this uh, from the other side. I'll turn off the camera for that so that you don't have to watch me swear at the sewing machine and moan about how heavy it is and that sort of stuff. Okay, let me see. That one's good. That one's even gooder. So I'm on uh, Grand Kitty duty this weekend. My son's gone away with his buddies to a cottage up north somewhere. Mm -hmm. Didn't ask. And so I have to go over at some point and see my grandkitties. Make sure that they're fed and watered and spoiled. A little bit of fluffies on there. Okay. So I'm going to turn off the camera, I'll do the other one, stitch them, come back, we'll glue them in together. Sound good? Okay, so I've got them both sewed, and I forgot to mention, now is the time to add pockets if you want to stitch them down. So I stitched down this piece of um, lace, thick, not thick, but um, wide lace to use as a pocket. And... I got this little organza pocket somewhere. I have no idea. I can't remember. But I remember getting it in something and I stuck it in a little box so that I would have it handy. I thought that was cute. Um, and I'm just trying to decide which one I like better, whether I like this one. And I'm thinking maybe looking through the camera lens might help me decide. Or if I like this one on the front better. You know what, I think I like this one better, which sort of surprises me. <laughs> okay. So I am going to add, well, I'm going to cut off a little bit of this lace off the back, first of all, so it's not so bulky. Uh, so I'll do a good wash of glue all over the back and then I'll go in um, extra good on the edge.
So I'm just running a, a bead right on the stitching line. And the stitching line I did um, like an eighth of an inch from the edge, like a top stitch. That's where I sewed with my sewing machine. Okay. Now, my most important corners are the outer ones. So I'll do those first. And then layer down. Okay. Now, I want the seam the, the edge to be really tight so I will add five billion of these little um, binder clips this is my big one come on come on guys <laughs> can't spend all day with these teeny tiny ones and I find by doing the final glue with some pressure by these clips that just really ensures a nice finished edge. So this was my first journal using a pattern envelope as a cover and I really enjoyed it and because I'm a little loopy for vintage sewing stuff I have a lot of pattern envelopes that I want to uh, make into journals now that I now that I've got an idea how it's done I'm sure I will refine the process over time but I must say I am quite tickled with how this turned out This inner edge is harder to sort of apply pressure to, but thankfully Fabri-Tac has a relatively, oh, thought that was a thread. It has a relatively quick grab, so get back on there, you. So I won't uh, take up any more of your time, but um, I'm going to spend a little time putting this final part in. I'm going to start putting the ephemera inside, and then I'll come back and do a flip through. So I hope you'll, you'll be back to join me, and in the meantime, take care. We'll talk to you soon.